Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, finishing up my coffee, and today is a new day. It's going to be a beautiful day, it's sunny outside, and so um, I've got to work on some things, that's for sure, because I know how Papa and the puppies are getting out, and it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> I saw him do it today. Uh, I'm going to check on beauty and uh, just figure things out as the day goes on. See this area of fencing right here that I've added that leads into the uh, old rooster yard? First Papa basically leaped like a gazelle up over and made it into there. And then Sonny, uh, not Sonny, but Junior followed him. So this is kind of fallen down. <laughs> um, what I need to do is I need to get one of those big, big stakes put them up in a couple places. Really what I need is fencing this tall, but I don't have it right now, so for right now, uh, the puppies are going to be leaving later this evening, but I need to get a, at least one post pounded here, and then maybe another one over here, so that I can elevate this stuff up that's kind of like going down. It'll make it better anyhow, so... Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was sitting inside having my coffee. I heard something, and it was Papa trying to get out because Papa doesn't like to take a dump in the yard. He likes to be out free-ranging when he does his business, and that's not necessarily a good thing, especially if he gets on my neighbor's property. So I saw him. He was pacing. I caught him at the last moment when he just leaped over this fence. I could not believe it. But... Yep, that's how how he uh, is doing it, or how he was doing it, and how he taught the puppies to do it. There's Miss Beauty. Uh, she made it down on the floor from being up in that little box herself today. And she's managed to turn herself around, so her's bu her bum is in the water. So I'm going to move her, because since she's not moving, um, I want to move her away from where she's been defecating, clean that area, give her a new spot each time. There you go, sweetness. All right, I'll leave you this way for a little while, and I'll come and check on you later. She seems fine, except for that one leg. It's not even 11 a.m., and I already got two down here. And Mama is getting ready to lay next. Check this out. I get the puppies inside while I was out doing my little things, and they've locked me out. Either that or the, the little slider thing is locked. <laughs> So I'm going to crawl in through a window. Thank goodness I left this one cracked. Lovely. Okay, this is going to be hard to see. Um, I, I had to basically pound on it to get this to open. I can't get it in focus, but there's a little part that attaches to this part that isn't sliding correctly when the cover is on because I think the door has shifted and where these little screws go... Um, the screws are blocking it, so I'm going to have to figure something out. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just how I see it. When it's out, I can push it all the way in. Um, I know how to put it back together. I just don't know how to fix it. Um, I don't think it's a lubrication issue, because when that little screw's out, this goes in and out perfectly. I think it's an obstruction issue. I guess i got to clean this door. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. I don't have it tightened up all the way. I keep having to tighten it and loosen it. I mean, it'll open and close now, but it's still not working right. I'm thinking maybe of just dismantling the whole thing, cleaning it, um, and lubricating it. Um, it may just be that this door has kind of shifted a little bit, or maybe something on the inside of this has shifted because it's not articulating exactly right. The screws are in the way of this moving, so I keep having to try and tighten and adjust the screws. But um, I pulled my back out, kind of like bending over, so I'm going to give this a rest for now. On a positive note, I did get this screen restrung. I think you can see in a lot of my videos when I'm sitting out here, it was kind of like dipping down like that, and the screen was out. So I got that all fixed. Um, all I need to do is... oh pull that up a little bit but I hurt uh, twist my back and so it's kind of bothering me right now so I'll just have to take both uh, one finger and both of these and lift it up a little bit more and shove it in and we'll be good 
So right now, I am literally stuck. I can't leave. I mean, I could take Papa with me um, because he's going to be the first one over the fence, and I see Junior over there eyeing it. I can't put them in the house because I'll, I'll need to close the house up and lock it um, because if I don't leave this window open just a little bit, I won't be able to um, get in. I won't be able to push it up and in. I'll, I have to be able to reach in. Um, and I can't leave with that open because the puppies will, they will figure out a way to get that window up the rest of the way and get out. Um, either that or hurt themselves trying. So until um, the puppies are picked up, I am basically trapped in my yard in right in front of the tiny house because if I try and go out, if I am not right here with them in the yard, they will take off over the fence, and I've got the chickens in their yard right now. Um, so there's absolutely nothing I can do right now until uh, my neighbor comes and picks up these dogs, and that way then I can take Papa with me, and he'll be fine being in the truck. I can't take all three puppies in the truck. Um, I don't know. I, I just don't think I can do it. So I'm just going to uh, chill out in my yard until further notice. Today has turned out to be an incredibly frustrating day. The chickens keep getting out, and I don't know where they're getting out. I don't know. So I just let them all out. I mean, I'm stuck here anyhow. I'm standing in front of the gate. Um, so the puppies aren't leaving tonight. Uh, when you see this, um, I don't know. They may be able to leave tomorrow morning. I'm not sure. So I'll just update you, like, in a, in a comment down below this video if uh, they actually do leave. But... Uh, so, totally frustrating day. I can't figure the door out. Um, I, I may just need to get a new, whole new doorknob. Um, a little bit stressed out because I can't let the puppies out. I mean, I can't, you know, keep them contained. And I'm afraid that they'll get to my chickens or my neighbor's chickens. So, I don't know what's going to go down. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get this taken care of tomorrow morning. If not, I'll just have to take them to a, um, you know, like a no-kill shelter or something like that, so, but I, I, I mean, I'm literally having chest pain today. <laughs> um, each thing that happened, it just kept compounding on top of another thing, and chickens got out three times, so I just figure, I'm here, I'm going to watch them. Um, the bunnies are doing great, though. Uh, so anyhow, oh, oh, here, look at these eggs. Count them. There's eight eggs in there. That means all of my remaining hens laid, including Beauty. She's kind of moving around in there. I haven't seen her move, but I know she's been moving because every time I go in there, she's in a new place. So I just keep moving her food and water around for her. So that's a good thing. So at least there's that. That's good. Silver linings. You got to take them where you can get them. Um, and my back is killing me. <laughs> I was going to pound some posts today, but... Um, I was like twisting and bending at the same time trying to fix that doorknob and um, I pulled pulled a muscle and I didn't think it was going to be that bad but it's it's not good. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, I'm just going to keep my chin up and just keep pressing forward. I called the, the rescue place and they're not returning my calls so um, I guess, you know, whatever. I, I don't know what the deal is with them but... Um, but like I said, it's not their problem. It's my problem. So I have to fix my own problems. And um, because my problems are actually going to be a neighborhood problem if I can't find a way to get rid of these dogs. Um, because they're just going to go around killing other people's chickens and um, getting into people's garbage. And um, I, I can't have this stress. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell? I'm totally stressed. So I'm just going to go watch my chickens and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.